Into this, this is Winner's Finals, Dreamland, our starter stage. Seagull Joe playing the Sonic, Boss playing the Luigi, I'm Res Lived. And I'm GK Breezy. Looks like uh, Seagull only has one custom on, which is the Hammer Spin Dash. Uh, before, I think that was a very hard move to punish or like to challenge in. Right there, Boss yeah. actually just challenges straight up with the up uh, smash. And I'm pretty sure that only works with uh, like the plumbers because their head is invincible during the up smash. So. Right. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about, for some reason, Hammer Spin Dash, it just feels like the hitbox is better. I mean, Boss is coming in there and just smacking it with fair. But yeah, in general, it just feels a lot harder to deal with. Right now, like, Seagull Joe is just taking to the skies pretty much the entire yep. time. Just spin dash, Hammer Spin Dashing on the shield, and then immediately trying to uh, do an area after that while landing safely on the platform. But Boss keeping it even. Every time he catches a, a, a very, like, ill thought of uh, spin dash or hammer spin dash he decides to just up smash it and gets to the time yeah that seems to be the way to go from now on yeah. just stand underneath and, and up smash if, if seagulls coming from the air good weight on that air dodge not even sure why oh all oh, right the, the invisibility actually get him far enough in that to not get hit by the uh with the part that boss wants to hit him with right anytime boss drops off like that he just wants the first few uh take hits so that he uh, they fall with the lag it's kind of like a pseudo spike and should be able to make this yeah i kept the jump Boss so, boss so good with Luigi recovering like every game. Yeah, for sure. Hey, he's been one of like the best mashers I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Um, but I'm actually really surprised that Boss uh, died to that S smash. Yeah. Uh, mostly because he went close to Joe at the ledge. Mm -hmm. That's sort of like Joe almost always kills people with back throw. Mm -hmm. And like Boss tried to approach, and I was like, why? And he ended up dying to an S smash because of it. Yeah, I feel like Boss probably trying to go in there and get his tough own grab because you know Seagull Joe is going to hold shield and try to get that grab right after that. That's true. And that and kind of mixed it up right there. So good stuff to Seagull. There you go. Yeah, that, that makes a bit more sense. An interesting choice. That's the thing about Sonic. If Sonic misses, he can just like jump out of the way, and try something else. And it's so silly because it becomes near impossible to punish. Yeah, I mean, it's really easy to punish homing attack if you know it's coming. But, yeah. Like, there's so many options to see us or Sonic gets out of spin dashing that like it's like yeah. you, you don't want to risk that one. Oh. Ooh, I'm actually surprised I didn't put him in the ground. Seagull knowing his character really well. And Seagull's probably actually looking for that back throw again. See him rolling a lot. He's back throw? Yep. Not up to finish, though. Not close to the edge. Uh, Boss is having a hard time at least getting his first stock off. Oh, wow. Well, th that <laughs> was a single jump special yeah. right there. Surprised he didn't get the uh, grab. It is kind of a, a low percent. I, I guess that's one way to do it. Jab, F smash. Seagull looking really confident in this right, game that was, one. That was, a, that was a very strong game one coming in from Seagull Joe right there. I mean, that... <laughs> that is definitely the sequel special. I don't know how everyone gets hit by that. You run it all the way at you, then just uh, rolls Roll behind. behind you, gets the grab, and you're yep. like, oh, what? He went when, for back throw. When have I seen this? Like, he, he went for back throw at kill percent? What a god. <laughs> like, this man's changing the meta as we speak. Dude, one day, man. One day he'll stop letting that happen. Or one day people will just roll in as Seagull's running toward him. <laughs> or they'll just hit him. Like <laughs> That too. That it's was Sonic. How, that's more so how I've seen more uh, more losses from Seagull. Like, he tries to go for that, and they just throw out a hitbox, and he gets yeah. hit by it. If you, if, you, if you have a character with any kind of projectile, that's the other thing is like, yeah, the boss does it too, is he'll put out a fireball, and it's like all of a sudden, any like type of spin dash move doesn't work in any of that space. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got he's to get around to doing that more often. The thing about a hammer spin dash, though, is that initial jump is getting him over the fireball Yep. Uh, every now and then. So, boss just has to be at the set distance to try to use that fireball. Honestly, man, yeah, I feel like this is just a hard matchup for uh, Luigi in general just because the amount of like sliding he gets for he getting his heel shit and the amount of running that um, that Seagull Joe's doing. Right. Not even running. He's more so, you know, hit and run. So call it that. Yeah, it's it's very. he'll either get the hit and he'll, you know, get a, get a few hits out of it or he won't get the hit and he'll get away really far, as you're yeah. saying. As you see right there, that's one of the things Sonics will do a lot is like if they mess up, it's like, let me just spring. And it's like, not only do they get far away, but they put a spring right on top of you. So it's not like you can drop shield or jump out of shield. Like, you're stuck in that shield while they, Sonic gets to land. So it's a difficult scenario for people fighting against Sonic. That was interesting. He actually took the fireball on purpose and then messed up his punish. Cool. For that. I was definitely looking for the grab right there. Nice chop to get over that. And something I've been seeing Boss do a lot is he'll do jab jab to grab yeah. rather than like a normal grab or anything like that. And I'm not really sure why, because a player like Seagull Joe will realize like, oh, you're going for jab jab grab, then I'll just like roll away after the first two jabs. Just look at that, man. Seagull Joe playing so safe right there. Use the uh, hammer spin dash. Realize uh, Boss is trying to come in for the punish and just spring sprung away and then step back behind it. Yep. Oh, and it is maybe. That'll do it. Yep. There Good stuff go. to Boss, keeping him in that Luigi tornado.
Yeah, you gotta, you want, yeah, I think you have to hit with the head now or something like that. Or, uh, one of the other, head or feet, I forgot which one, but one of the hitboxes is extremely weak and uh, DIable now. Uh -huh. So, like, you have to really micromanage your spin or your uh, tornado to make sure you hit the strong hit hitbox of it. I, I was talking to Polio and I was, he was just like, hold down. And I was like, all right. And he's like, you'll get out if I mess up, but you have to hold down. I was like, okay. And then he, I was like at the bottom of the tornado the whole way mm. and he still killed me. <laughs> I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, that move's I, got I, some weird properties. Then the feet's the, the feet stronger hit. I think the head is now the weaker hitbox, which is kind of smart. I mean, it's closer to the top last zone. So they were like, all right, well that makes sense. But honestly, man, if you want to really help out, just take it out of the game, got him. <laughs> 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 Down throw to Luigi Tornado is kind of silly. <laughs> okay, gonna make it back. So, uh, <laughs> a decent, a decent uh, lead right here by, by Boss. He's at, almost at full rage, and Seagull Joe. Oh, here we go. And this could be it. Yeah. No, he gets for forward air. Yeah, I was, I was, I was kind of expecting to, you know, just straight up go for it right there. Going for the raw up smash, and Seagull Joe went for the grab, and somehow that did not get hit. That was a, that's a lot of pushback on that up smash. Yeah. And here we go. Is he going to try and back throw? No, he goes for down throw, even at 160, and with a little bit of rage. Oh, wow. We'll take that. Nice. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. He, he got his jump with that down throw, so like that yeah. was a very smart uh, option for uh, Seagull Joe. So keeping himself in the game right here, 113 on Seagull Joe. And Boss now with rage going to have uh, to you know attack on a little more damage before he decides to get this kill. I think I think he might be able to kill with the up smash though right now. And he's actually kind Whoa. of falling apart. No way. The S smash through the bottom of the stage? He shields that, and he goes for it again, doesn't get it. But 70% now on Boss. Seagull's brought this back pretty significantly. And I think Boss is starting to fish a little bit. Goes for down throw. Oh, smart stuff right there by Seagull. Not air dodging early that time, because Boss was looking for it. Either way, though, he had uh, yeah, that per fight perfectly. He didn't even couldn't even get hit by the forward air in general. Now they're both resetting to neutral. He gets in there with the hammer spin dash. Drops a spring on him. Right, looking for that F smash. Oh, oh got he got the read. He had it, and he's going to die. Yeah, that's going to be it. And he shakes his head. He knows. He's like, I knew this roll. He charges the F smash and just didn't space it right. That's unfortunate. Bang, bang. bang, yeah, bang. That was definitely unfortunate right there. I know, it was a solid read coming in from him. I just, had he turned it around the other way, that would have been, uh, been game. I'll join you down here. Yeah, I'm just chilling. This, I don't know this, looks, this looks so comfortable. It's actually the most chilling I've ever been. This, this, the, the, the weak... The, the the last Xanadu before Evo, and I'm so chill. <laughs> uh. Lila, Lila is legal. legal, yes. Why would it not be legal? Lila used to be a neutral. Because <laughs> none of us here like it, though. That was, th it was a neutral in Brawl until like the last like six months when we had just Battlefield, Smashville, FD. No, I mean, it was a neutral here because we needed five. And like, yeah. we didn't have five until they started putting the DLC. But like, I don't, you can't take a neutral and just ban it. Like, like that like I, I, that would be just like, well, why was that ever a neutral in the first place? Uh, they should just agree to Smashville like the rest of MDVA. But they don't. FD, the counter pick now. I... Uh, I, I Oh, wait, this is Seagull's just counterpick. All right. Yeah. Uh, for a minute, I thought it was bosses. I was like, I definitely would have not taken him here. But uh, for Seagull, yeah, no, I, I, can, I can agree with this. I do think those platforms are helping him out uh, more often than not in this matchup in general, though, because he, he was getting over the fireballs a lot e easier. So but we'll see. It's definitely possible for people to, you know, by, by playing really defensive, you can deal with Sonic a bit better on this stage, uh, simply just because he has nowhere else to land. I was talking last game about how, you know, he'll do the spin dash and then he kind of gets away for free. Mm -hmm. But, like, with no platforms, he's forced to sort of up B, and then like he has one spot to go. Yeah. But against Luigi, he can like throw out an aerial, and the shield push will keep Luigi from punishing. Yeah. So right now, I mean, uh, Seagull Joe still got the, a decent lead right here, he's, and he's got about a few percent lead. See, uh, I, I don't. I think what the, what the real problem is where Boss is playing from. Boss is playing from a distance where it seems like he is able to, you know, do the whole hit and run strategy. But the thing is, he needs to be on top of Seagull. Like, more, like even if you're just wildly chasing him, you you cannot give him space. Because uh, as you can see with the space he's working with, he's just hitting and running and he's getting away with it. Yep, yeah, and he's doing such a good job. And Boss has been sort of like cornered into his own shield. He needs to find some way to deal with the spin dash head on. And mm -hmm. that's sort of the problem he's dealing with right now. He hasn't found anything. He's almost always in shield. Oh, just barely juking that spring right there. And all, oh, and Secret Joe trying to finish it with the uh, spin dash up here. A little off. Almost got the same read again. But uh, the power shield coming in from Boss. Good. That time he gets something out of shield. Going to put on a little bit of damage. So at least when he does finally get a hit, he converts off it quite well. Yeah. Was, he's got like three solid grabs and every time he gets about 25% off of it. So 
And I don't think Bust knows, but the key to homing attack is spot dodging it. Yeah, if spot dodging. They, they hit the ground and it's like a million frames of lag. It's silly. Oh, the misfire. All right, trying to go for the quick ledge trump. Pretty smart. I mean, uh, when you, it's it's smarter for people who don't uh, ledge trump that often to go for it every now and then because right. people never expect it. It's like you, you like this guy never ledge trumps, and then you finally get one ledge trump back here, finish the stock. I'm expecting a back throw very soon. Oh, yeah. He's definitely looking for it. Uh, oh. Up throw? Yeah, up throw should work here. Good stuff. And he takes the first stock, so Siegel in position to take this winner's finals. Okay. Once again, man, like, this ball is just having a hard time dealing with this. I mean, but this, it's it's the it's the gamble of going against a, or, like, preemptively trying to stop Sonic Spin Dash. Like, right. If you throw out an aerial early, he doesn't do it, then he just punishes your landing lag. And if you don't throw out an aerial at all, then you just get hit. So yeah. It's like, ah. That's why I want to I want to see Boss throw just a little bit more fireball. At yeah. least cover that space in front of him for even a little bit of time. And it worked right here. He baited a roll out of Siegel, and he's almost converted a kill off of it. And that started from that fireball. There we go. Good stuff to Boss. Yeah, Siegel, Siegel Joe used his second jump to get back on stage with that. So um, he couldn't spring out of it until he hit the ground. Therefore, he got punished. You guys didn't know. You, know, you have to use your second jump to actually get the spring. You can't just right. spring out of side B. So. You also can't do a special move out of it. Oh. Just fun facts. Yeah. All right, so Boss makes it back to the ground. Seagull's still at 0% on this stock. Yeah, he's just patiently waiting for that roll. Whether it's a roll on or a regular get up roll, Boss seems to be kind of panicking. Oh, my. And he's going to get hit with still that living, smash. Though. Well, yeah, very, very great read right there by Seagull Joey. He read the fact that he was going to get do a standard get up and then roll in. Yeah, he's been doing either that or just no rolling. Either either way, the end result is the same, and Seagull yeah. can just wait for it. Now, Boss definitely in a panicky situation. We're seeing more fireball, but Seagull jumps right over it. They're just patiently waiting each other out. Boss desperately trying to corner Seagull. But the threat of Spin Dash is just too great. Good S Smash. Oh. <laughs> Covering. There's the roll. Back throw? So many rolls in a row. He really needs to stop. Down here? Oh, I thought he'd go for it. Yeah, just because. I mean, like, you got a decent lead. So, managed to tornado his way back on, but that was not safe at all. And just takes the back air. Seagull Joe will be moving on. And uh, Average Joe will be playing. Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, Lot and uh, Smash got to have to play first, I think. They both have to play? Me. Oh, yeah. You're switching back out? I'm going to come with you. Oh, right. oh. All right. Oh. What What's up? up, dude? What's going on, man? Oh, man. Chilling? What? Chilling? Yeah, I was watching TK, TK, like the feet up, and he was like down here. I want to...